My name is David Woodhead, I'm from Darwin Northern Territory and I'm 18 years old. I don't think there really is a uh, pressure of being the youngest, because uh, most people think I'm a 40-year-old vet anyway. I think it surprises people because they go, oh, wow, he, he looks old, he, he's going to probably be good, and then they're very uh, disappointed. That's why I open up telling my age so people kind of set the bar low. <laughs> Out of 2,000 people, there has to at least be one person who goes, oh, he's, he's funny. Yeah, so if I can have one person like me, then I've done it. Are <laughs> right, you guys ready for your next act? This guy was a former class clown all the way from the Northern Territory. Give it up for David Woodhead! Thank you. Oh, you guys want to hear something a bit fucked up? <laughs> I just turned 18 years old. <laughs> Which means I looked like this when I was 17 years old. <laughs> And it's really awkward, man. It's awkward being 17 while also looking like a pedophile. I mean... <laughs> Born in Darwin? Yeah, woo. That, that's pretty much all it deserves. Don't, no, no. No. People in Darwin... I love Darwin, but people are just too proud, you know? They're just... They're just proud to be there. Like, the longer you've been in Darwin for, the more rights you have. Like, I'll give you an example, OK? If there's, if there's one car parked and there's two cars going into it, this is how we'll always go down and go. Ah, uh, yeah, excuse me, mate. Um, think I was here first. Fuck off, you cock breath! I've been territorial for 47 years! <laughs> Sorry, mate, I'll get out of your way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't smoke cigarettes. Um, all right, well. I think that's cool, because, uh... No, and then everyone in Darwin, they smoke, man, so, you know, they pick it up. But I never did, because I'm too scared. I read this fact online, scared the shit out of me. It said, uh, smoking cigarettes can decrease your penis size by one centimetre. <laughs> I know about you boys here, but, uh, I need that centimetre, OK? <laughs> that is the difference between an average penis and a slightly below average penis for me. Call them the tiebreakers, yeah. My mum smokes, she has a vagina, so there's no real health risk. So <laughs> just... uh, I love my mum. I think, I think my mum, seriously, is the most beautiful person in the world. I really do, I really do. Uh, she's always looked 55, now she's just caught up, so it's good. It's good for, <laughs> it's good for her. Uh, no, my mum, uh, my mum, uh, my dad met at an AIDS clinic, yeah. They both work there. Didn't have AIDS and thought, hey, let's start a family. No, it worked there. Um, <laughs> Mum's the nurse, which is really handy. You know, it's really handy. I'll give you a story. Uh, uh, I was 12 years old, having a shower, you know, cleaning my... Uh... I was joking off. You know, I'm 12 years old. It's <laughs> what I do, man. It's what I do. But I felt a bump on my balls and, you know, freaked out. I was like, oh, no, man. I can't sell my balls. <laughs> I'm gonna go tell mum. It's 12 o'clock at night, runs my mum's like, Mom, Mom, check my balls. <laughs> this, this is legit what she does. She goes, <sighs> Give her. <laughs> You're fine, sweetie, go back to bed. <laughs> yeah, I know what she means now when uh, she says I was a handful growing up. Yeah, a little bull fondling joke, you know, I'm the same brother. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Who here has kids? Just, uh, has kids? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who here doesn't have kids? <laughs> yeah. See how much happy they sound, you know? <laughs> oh, but I understand, I understand having kids, I understand having kids, you know, it's a gamble. You know, what if you have a kid? And he's a fuckwit. I bet you said this three-year-old man, one of the biggest fuckwits ever met. I know, thinking, David, he's three years old. Give him, give him a chance. But you just know, like, you know when you're in Woolies and you see a three-year-old running and you just want to trip, you know? <laughs> oh, he's one of those, man. Like, I was, so I was on the couch, he was, and he comes up and he walks up to me like this. He goes... <laughs> and I, I react the same way you guys did. What the fuck is he doing? And he had something in his mouth. I'm like, hey, mate, what you, what, you, what you got in your mouth? And he goes, 
He had a battery. <laughs> Instinct, guys, I just put my whole hand in his mouth, I just ripped his battery out, and I'm thinking he's gonna go, oh, that was a mistake, mate. Dave, thank you so much for saving my life. Nope. He starts screaming and throwing a tantrum, yeah? But parents, we know how to deal with this when kids have tantrums, don't we? We gotta get to their eye level, and we give the prick the battery right back. He can choke on it. <laughs> yeah, you guys have been so good. Thank you so much. David Woodhead! Every time I do big gigs like that, it just gives the spark back, you know? It's like I've done it for the first time and I'm just, I'm ready. Like, right now, I just feel like I'm ready to, I could go out there and do it again, man. It's just, it's so much fun. It seriously is the best thing in the world.